Hi everyone, welcome to the Godox Knowledge App tutorial series. The Godox Knowledge App is a professional lighting control application that's also easy for beginners to use. In this series, we'll cover everything you need to know about this app. In this episode, I will show you how to connect your lights using Bluetooth CR Max. This method is completely wireless, which is great for smaller studios or setups. It helps reduce cable clutter, keeps everything neat, and gives you full control over the distance. To connect your lights via Bluetooth CR Max, you will need an iPad, a light that supports CR Max control here will use the P1200R hard and the Timo Link TRX transceiver. You might wonder why do we need this? Can we just control the light directly by the iPad? The iPad doesn't have a built-in lumen radio chip so it can send CRMS data directly to the lights. That's where the Timolink TRX comes in. It's a wireless DMX transceiver with a Bluetooth module that converts the signal from the iPad into a wireless DMX signal to control the lights. So we need it. Let's start the connection. First, we need to connect the iPad to the Timolink TRX via Bluetooth. The Timolink TRX needs power to work it doesn't have a built-in battery, so you can use a power bank to power it. It's small enough to fit in your pocket, or you can plug it into any lights or control box with the USB power port. Here we use the power bank to power it. In its default state, the Timolink TRX Bluetooth is on. You can also press the set button and the reset button on the back at the same time to enter the activation mode to check if the Bluetooth is on. Pressing the reset button toggles Bluetooth on or off. We will keep the Bluetooth on. Since it will be sending signals to the lights, we need to make sure it's in transmit mode. Press the set button to switch between transmit and receive mode. Then press both button again to return to the normal mode. Sometimes if you cannot connect, it might be because the mode is wrong. You can check it this way. Now in the Godox Knowledge app, Go to the main interface and find connection settings in the top right. Click on it, and you can only choose one connection between ArtNet or Bluetooth. Turn on the Bluetooth switch and then click in it. The app will search for available devices and list your Timolink TRX. Select it to pair. Once paired, you will see a green Bluetooth icon and connect it in the top right corner. Okay, now the iPad and the Timolink TRX are connected. Next, we will connect the Timolink TRX to the light. Here we have a P1200R hard, a full color panel light that supports CRMX. Make sure your lights support CRMX control. First, we turn on the CRMX of this light. Then set the DMX mode. Whether you choose HSI or RGB or other mode, the mode on the app must match to control it successfully. So here we choose RGBW mode. Set the DMX address. Whatever you set here must match the app later. We set it to 001. After setting up the light, press the set button on the Timolink TRX. The indicator light on the TRX and the light will flash together. When the indicator light stays on, the connection is successful. Here's a small tip. Double-clicking the set button will change the indicator light color. And the light controlled by this TRX will change its indicator color light too. This helps you identify which lights are connected to this device. Now we just need to configure the light in this app. You can do it in the light list or light layout interface. Find this little bulb icon and click it. You will see two options, system fixture bank and local fixture bank. For now, select the system fixture bank. Click Godox. Scroll down to find the P1200R hard and select the same mode as on the light. So we select the RGBW 8-bit. Ensuring the mode matches is very important. If it's wrong, the connection won't work. Set the quantity to 1. You don't need to change the universe or channel, but we need to set the start channel to match the DMX address on the light, which we set to 001. 
Lighting position determines where the light icon will appear in the light layout interface. So if you have a lot of lights in your setup, the number will help you to find it easily. Click Confirm to add. Now the light will appear in all four interfaces. You can control the brightness and color in either the light control or light layout interface. The light control page simulates a console slider, while the light layout provides a more intuitive adjustment interface. By following these steps, we could connect the lights via Bluetooth CR Max. This method gives you reliable and flexible control for your lighting setup. Remember three key points. Use the TMOLINK TRX transceiver. Make sure your light supports CMX control and set the same DMX mode on both the light and the app. So, how do you connect lights that only support DMX but not CRMX? We'll answer that in the next episode. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Stay tuned to our channel for more videos. We'll explore additional features and tips for using the Goldex Snow LED app.